So I often get asked about real life experience, right? All three of us teach scrum training classes and you can caught up in you can get caught up in that idea that, well, okay, you teach this stuff, but like do you have any real experience with this stuff? How have you, you know, served as a scrum master, for example? What what challenges or or, you know, victories have you had as a scrum master? Or do you just kind of teach this from theory. So I thought why not share some of our biggest challenges and successes from our careers using not just teaching Scrum, but using Scrum. Yeah, I've, I've got one right at the top of my mind I love to talk about. Uh, I tell this story frequently, but when I first went to Scrum Master School, um, I, you know, good old two-day <laughs> class, and, you know, you take your test, and now you're certified, right. so you know everything, of course. I get back to work, and uh, congratulations, Rob, you're going to be the Scrum Master for the team. And I'm thinking, oh, this is great. I get to be the Scrum Master. Oh, well, here's the problem. No one else on the team had any idea what Scrum was all about and uh, didn't want to use Scrum in the first place. So good luck with that, Rob. My first challenge was to uh, try to explain what it's all about, why it's beneficial, how it can help us get work done. Oh, and by the way, I was also the developer on the team. So I'm a developer, Scrum Master, hybrid role. Nobody wants to use Scrum, nor do they know about Scrum. And, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be coding for a living. So the challenge was to show techniques and tactics that could help us solve the problems that we actually had. And it, honestly, the, the one big lesson learned I got out of this is it taught me how to teach Scrum a whole lot more effectively. Ultimately, I became a Scrum trainer. But uh, to be able to meet somebody where they are and explain the benefits and explain how it's, uh, what's in it for them was really what I learned most about this, even though this team, I don't think, ever ultimately used Scrum. They chose to use Kanban, and I couldn't fight them anymore. So I had to learn Kanban, too. <laughs> Greg, what about you? Challenges, successes, oh, real man. life experience. I got a secret. I broke a company using Scrum. I completely oh. broke it. Yeah. Um, so I, I say that tongue in cheek, but there's some truth to it. Uh, I w um, worked for a uh, uh, for a startup and uh, was brought on board to be a lead developer, but I had a way of working. Just happened to be using the Scrum framework. They didn't understand what that was. Uh, but what uh, was introduced fairly quickly was um, a lot of transparency to the work. Uh, it brought a lot of attention from other teams and project managers who says, what is this? We like it. Please teach us this thing. Um, and ultimately ended up having a, a really interesting grassroots effect on over 60 plus engineers and developers in this uh, little startup. Um, what was uh, where things got interesting is when leadership began to be held to task by way of the things that were being pushed to the teams. And that's where the transparency, almost like two oceans coming together where they don't mix. Mm. That's what was happening. Mm. Uh, long story short, there's, this is, there's like, you know, public, public stuff written on this, but there is uh, issues with, uh, with, with some, some of the leadership and the direction and things would eventually implode. But uh, I don't believe that that would have happened anytime soon. Had there not been transparency brought to the table, um, what's really cool is we've got a lot of engineers and people that we've uh, still interact with today um, that uh, have been forever changed in terms of how they think and how they do their work um, because of the usage of the Scrum framework. So we maybe broke a company, um, but we also helped 60 plus engineers uh, figure out a better way of doing work. So Interesting. For me, I would say there there's one particular Scrum team that comes to mind. I talk about them quite frequently. Is it's probably one of the probably the most, if not one that just the most Scrum successful Scrum teams that I've been a part of. They might even be watching right now, um, and uh, I still keep in touch with the team members from this team. Um, I can't point to one particular thing, but when I think back on that team, uh, we had several. Most of the people in that team had never worked together before. Uh, about half of them were new to Scrum. Uh, some of them were not new to Scrum, and I think it would be fair to say there was some entrenchment of like, oh, this is just how we do things, and, and I'm kind of resistance to change. Not majorly, but just some minor things. And what I'm most, one of the things I'm most proud of or happy about with that team is that as a Scrum Master, sure, when we first got started, our first sprint, like I was nudging the team towards trying new things, but eventually that was just the culture on that team. Like, they got to a place where anybody could suggest new ideas. It wasn't the Scrum Master's job to suggest everything or run every retrospective. Uh, we changed up how we did sprint reviews because we weren't getting enough good feedback, and the, the team came up with ideas. 
Um, we, we try, we changed our daily scrum format every sprint to keep things fresh. Like the team started leading each other in like weekly lunch and learns. I started that out, but like once the pattern was set, they took, took it and ran with it. So, you know, the, the leadership of the team, was I a servant leader on the team as a scrum master? Sure. But I was leading others to lead each other and that, that worked out really well. And so I'm, that, that's probably my, one of my biggest success stories with scrum. Hey there, so if you're here and this is your first time and you're interested in growing in your agility and understanding things like Scrum and other Agile topics, then be sure to get started by hitting that subscribe button and also that bell. You're gonna get notifications and I don't want you to miss out on a thing.